Mansfield Reformatory is a large prison that was built in 1886. The site here is so historic, even Civil War troops trained on these grounds. The prison also holds the record for being the world's largest freestanding cell block. But aside from that, this place has a very troubled past. In the early 1900s, the prison was run by a warden named Arthur Gladkey. He eventually died of a heart attack while sitting at his desk working. Even his wife Helen died in the halls of the administration's building from a fatal gunshot wound. In 1957, a prison riot broke out sending over a hundred inmates to solitary confinement. As many as six inmates were put into a single cell, resulting in many killings and murders. On a positive note, the site was even used for a few Hollywood movies, like Shawshank Redemption and Air Force One. Sadly, after over a hundred years of service, the reformatory closed down in 1990. But even though the prison ceased operations, the spirits of inmates and others who died here are still rumored to haunt the building on a nightly basis. Tonight, the haunted investigators will venture inside in an attempt to make contact with the spirits here. The Mansfield Reformatory is a very large building. So before arriving, our team did some research to find three key areas that have the most potential of harboring ghostly activity. The East Wing, Solitary Confinement, and the administration's building. Investigating these three locations will prove critical to our research. As we gather equipment for tonight's investigation, the sun finally sets and the investigation begins. Okay, I've got no reading. Good, good. Wait. Yeah, see, if it's not getting anything from over here, it's not that one. It was starting to jump up to a point three, but it's yeah, there's nothing here. It's all electrical. Is there anything that lives in here that's a presence that would like to let itself be known? Just speak up and say anything? Is there someone in here right now? It was starting to jump up to a point three, but it's... Well, that's why it's a sewage down here, the septic. We began looking down hallways, and as I, I panned to the left to look down a hallway, I, I saw what looked like a ghost in a sheet. Jesus, boy, that made me crap. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, was like wow, they actually sheet. do appear like a ghost in a sheet. No, wait a minute. And it scared me for a moment, then I realized it was a big cutout for Halloween. So we all had a really roarous laugh with that. As our, there's our first encounter, first experience, is you know Casper the ghost floating around in the basement. You get orbs on your pictures. Try the dust. There is so much dust. Is there anybody here that would like to talk to us? Hey. What's up there? That's an asshole. <laughs> well, it's nice and fresh too. Ooh. Is there any prisoners who are here that have the guts to speak up and let themselves be known? Now's your chance to uh, let us hear you and let us know if you're here still. Now, I see it's just a flat zero. This, this is a bigger one, so I figured there would have been more people, more interaction, more energy. So. <laughs> Tired? <laughs> I had walked down a row of cells and I got this overwhelming feeling of sorrow. I'm like crying. Yeah, you're probably getting an overwhelming emotion because this is nothing but a horrible area. It made me want to cry. I wanted to just sit down and weep for whatever I was feeling at that moment. 
Anybody down there? Yeah, what's that? Me. Sniffing. No, it smells like gunpowder. Yeah. Around the same time that we smelled gunpowder, our cameras picked up this sound. Could this be the sound of a woman moaning? Is there anybody here who would like to make their presence known? If you could just give us some type of noise to let us know you're here. Just bang on something, just make a small noise for us. Yeah, I did hear that tapping. If there's somebody that's making noise, can you please tap again? There it is. Is that again? Is there someone here? Can you please tap again? Come on, tap again. If you're here trying to talk to us, tap again so we can hear you once more. Did you hear it? It was back yeah. here. It was like behind me. Yeah, it was right here. Yeah. This rapping continued to follow us as if the entity was saying, I'm here, I'm making noise, I want you to know. And we even asked it, can you please make that rapping again? Tap, tap, it started again. It was, it was perfect. Do it again, whatever you were doing before, do it again. Upon leaving this area, our camera caught this sound. Even though we've collected some great evidence already, little do we realize that our night is far from over. down here that'd like to speak to us. Is there anybody that would like to communicate with us who's down here at this time? Let us know you're down here. Oh, where's the EM operator? I'm getting cold spot. Cold spot, excellent. Stand steady. Did anyone hear that? Yeah, yeah, I did. yeah, I think I did hear that. Make another noise. It needs to be a lot louder. We need to hear it one more time. Loud. Last chance, please make a noise or we're leaving. Wait till later on? What was that? Is that footsteps? Or kind of like a shuffling noise? Yeah, I did too. Can you please make that noise again for us so we know you're here? Do you want us to come back down here? All you have to do is start making noise and we'll stay. 
I know you guys made noises when you were down here. Make the noise now. Can you touch one of us? Something simple, just brush us on the arm. Where are we at now here? I have no idea. This looks like where they used to talk to the people. Yeah. Is, awesome. this, is there any ghosts or any inmates who are in here because they enjoy talking with their loved ones? Upon listening to the audio recorded by our camera, we ended up hearing a response to Alan's question. Is there any ghosts or any inmates who are in here because they enjoy talking with their loved ones? Could this be a woman's voice saying no? Enjoy talking with their loved ones. Their loved ones. Is there anybody besides the three of us in this room? Oh, lots of dust in here. God, there is so much dust in here. If you can see the beam of our light, you know there's a lot of crap over here. Way too much. Now they got orbs in this room, and that's the This is the shop shaker. Shine the light in here so I can see what that one looks like. Oh, there's a scene. Okay. It's funny, you got the words desk and everything in here. Even though we had stumbled across this infamous area, it would only be a matter of minutes before the dangers of the haunted prison struck again. We were being led up the scaffolding and walking up the steps, I was physically assaulted and pushed. Now this push was more like a thud from the back and my legs went out from under me and I went face first, full body into the stairs and my camera equipment went everywhere. Uh oh. Is everything okay? No, it's just too bad. I was right behind him. I didn't push him. <laughs> There was a set of cells that I call the entertainment cells. It's where performers had did their videos, um, like Godsmack and another rapper. This is actually painted gold. It was the one that has hydraulics. I felt like tingly's on the back of my neck. Seconds later, we caught this EVP. You got the EMF? I did not. Now this is what we think we hear. I did not. You got the EMF? There's nothing. This is the uh, shower room we're in right now. Is there anybody in this room? Please let me know. Let us know. Ooh, I'm getting a cold spot. Oh, well, it could be the window. Yeah. It's starting right through the draft. Okay. Did the person that contacted us before us up here, can you make your noises again? The same type of noise?
Is there somebody here? Can you please bang on something? Bang on the wall. Okay, hold on. We got a cold spot. Kind of feels. It is cold right now. Yeah, it's cold right here. Got that EMF? Anything? Can you appear before us? Can you let us see you, come out so we can see you and talk to you? What was that? That was you, we need it louder. If you're trying to contact us, it's going to have to be louder. We're walking out, so if you're going to make your noises, you better do it again now. It makes me mad that they make noises and then after that they don't follow up. There you go. This place is a little squirrely. I think there's a lot of energy. It's this gamey in here. Because that's kind of the way they were in life. Looks like someone using it is dried up, eh? Nice. Thanks. Yeah. Is there anybody out in this area that'd like to talk to us? Is there anybody in this room? In the administration area, we asked the question in one of the rooms and it sounded like you would say maybe something stepped heavy on the ceiling and like the dust or pieces of paint fell. Can you make that noise again for us? Can you whisper something or make a noise or cough? stuffy and gave me such a feeling that it was making my lungs just kind of tightening up. I couldn't breathe in that room. It's crazy in here. I feel weird. What's that? Cigar. There's somebody smoking a cigar in this section. Definitely smelled a cigar. We rounded a corner and we smelled this strong smell of somebody smoking a cigar. I don't think it's from outside because the draft would be coming. Speak to us now if you want to communicate to us. Is there anybody in here? Please make a sound. Well, I think it's about 3.30. I think we've experienced everything that we're going to experience, so I think we should just wrap it up. The 
Mansfield Reformatory proved to be a very spiritually active place. And over the next few days, the team sifted through all the evidence in order to find video and audio anomalies to support their claims. Throughout the night, the team was able to record a total of four EVPs, two in the East Wing, one in the Solitary Confinement Office, and the most creepiest of them all was captured in the West Wing shower area. What makes this EVP so creepy is the extreme clarity of this third voice. Whoever broke into our conversation had to have been standing very close to the microphone. And oddly enough, the voice sounds like that of a young girl. If this is the case, then why is a child roaming the hallways of this prison? In the East Wing cell block, we were able to coax the spirit to keep tapping on the bars for us on command on three separate occasions. There it is. Is that again? We even heard shuffling noises in the solitary confinement area. What was that? Was that footsteps? Since we were the only ones in the area at the time, we all can agree that this had been caused by some sort of paranormal intervention. Also in the East Wing, Alan claimed that an invisible force caused him to fall face first into the steps. Since none of our cameras were filming Alan at the time of the incident, we have no way of examining the circumstances of this event. The reformatory turned out to be an excellent investigation and their night at the prison brought a lot of compelling evidence to the table. One day the haunted investigators hoped to return to the reformatory in hopes of seeing what else they can find lurking in the darkness.